Over the past few years, Detroit's growing art scene has been luring artists from all over the country thanks to pockets of affordable housing and financial initiatives for artists. So two local women realized what was going on and then came up with an idea. They called it Playground Detroit. Their story is one about chasing dreams, helping others, and in the end, making Detroit a better place to live. You could call this area on Gratiot up and coming. At first glance, it may seem bare, but take a closer look. There are some hidden gems like Playground Detroit. Take a look inside. This is the dream of Samantha Bankel Sheffman and Paulina Petkowski, a collective space for artists to show their work. The two met at Groves High School and reconnected when they had both moved to New York. And Samantha had been working um, in the arts community. I had been working with uh, musicians in the Detroit community. So we kind of put those skills together and um, embarked in an endeavor to start Playground, uh, which was at one point a different concept, which has really evolved over the years. They decided to move back to the D and really develop Playground Detroit. They agreed art would be the focus. We thought that we would be more successful if we had one place that everyone could find us. And they had an idea, but needed backing. That's where Michigan Women's said. Ford came into play. Well, these are two uh, incredibly smart women. A nonprofit that helps female entrepreneurs, a classic case of women helping women. Super incredible. They've been super supportive. One of our loan officers, she really fought for us to um, get the funding that we needed to complete the build out. And take a look at what was formed. On the day we visited, Playground Detroit was hosting the artwork of Danny Sober, a struggling artist originally from Chicago. Chicago. Because the cost of living is so low, it's one of the only places I think in America where like you can be an artist and survive primarily off making art. So Danny moved to Detroit, but where could he show his work? To be a mid-level artist and to have a beautiful room with natural light and white walls, it's like unparalleled. I think it's one of the only spaces in Detroit that can do that. Um, and to have a room that I can fit 13 paintings into, that I can get 500 people to come to on an opening night is like really, really empowering for a 25 year old who has never shown paintings before. It's super rewarding to hear feedback from other young people who are saying like, you helped make my dream come true or I could have never done this without you guys. But it's not just about helping artists. So with the collectors, so they know that we're dedicated to not just them, but the city that they live in. And Playground Detroit, a place started by two women with a dream who them. now help others make their dreams come true. Now there are a lot of events and openings going on at Playground Detroit, so I posted a link to their website on ours at clickondetroit.com. You'll find it on the community page.